Firstly, congratulations. Three caps for Wales since we saw you last. How the last few weeks been? Thank you. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's been an exciting time for me. Um, obviously, getting called into train and then getting called into the squad. And then on from there, getting, getting my first cap against Australia and kicking on, really, and getting the first my first start against Japan. And luckily enough, getting my um, third cap in South Africa only just, just over two minutes, I think I got. But um, yeah, obviously, a massive exciting time getting called up, and um, it's a great honour for me. And I really enjoyed the experience. Bit of a whirlwind for you, and I'm not sure you can probably recall the exact time, but you got called into the training camp late in October, and then you ended up making the squad, and then and then finally, obviously, you start. So, um, talk me through the emotions that went through your mind as you as you achieve those milestones. Well, I first had the call when I was in <laughs> just after the Russian the second game in the European Cup against NSC Ogden in Russia, and Kingsley called me up and was like, "Well, I've just been on the phone and I need you training Monday." So I was like, "Oh, great." I had nerves started to kick in. Obviously, you don't know what to expect, and just turning up and fitting in really, and that was my biggest thing, just to turn up and just learn all the calls and get up to speed with training. And I obviously did that the first week, and then obviously getting called into the squad, which is another massive achievement for me, and great for the family, and everyone was excited. And then to get picked for the first um, test against Australia was uh, another achievement again. So it all happened within, a, I suppose, two-week period, and. It was a lot to sink in and obviously emotions and nerves kicking in but tried to take it all in as obviously through the recent internationals text me like Coombsy and Goffey just said try and take in as much as you can really so it was a massive roller coaster ride and tried to take in as much as I could and enjoyed every moment of it really. Imagine the phone rang red hot when that squad announcement was made, making it into a 23 man squad. Who was your first phone call? Well I obviously told my girlfriend first so I was on the phone. So I gave her a quick text and then told my parents and my family and I um, can't really remember who rang me first really. I was in training all day so I couldn't really answer anyone on the phone. I just back down to the field, back training and then obviously after training just to go and see the family and just soak in the experience. And you had Halibay Mostello dragging by your side there. What were those 10, 15 minutes like before kick-off in the Australia game? You're, you're warming up, you're back in the dressing room, and then you're out for the anthem. What, what were those moments like for you? Obviously something you've dreamed of for a number of years. Well, exciting really. I just, obviously I said, a couple of the boys text me, said try to take it in and enjoy it. And obviously you've got a bit of nerves and a bit of enjoyment and just mixed emotions really. And I, um, I was just really excited to get out there and listen to the crowd singing the anthem and the boys singing the anthem and just soaked it all in and it was, it was awesome really. You've had a busy few weeks, as have the Dragons, you've come back in today, they've won four on the spin at home now, winning three of the four games in November. I know you popped down to Rodney Craig, made it across for a couple of games, what did you make of the recent performances? I think we um, played a lot of decent rugby, I think we've got a nice mixture of game now and obviously what we're doing in training is starting to come through, which is nice to see. And Obviously, keep the winning run going at home now and make it a fault for us at Rodney Parade, which I have been over the last few years, and make it hard for teams to come there and get a result, which is a massive bonus for the boys. And i got to try and get back in the jersey now and try and fight for my place down here and hopefully keep the winning run going. And just lastly, Leinster away on Saturday. The Dragons beat Leinster back in January. It will be a tough place to go. Leinster sitting second in the Pro 12 table. What have you been working on in training this week as you look for that game? Uh, obviously, we forwards we do a lot of set piece work and backs to all the starter plays and the fancy stuff, and then come together and put everything together really. And um, I think we've had a good week this week training. The boys, there's a good buzz about the camp. Everyone's obviously got smiles on their faces after a few wins at home, and obviously we've had a couple of wins in the league, in the LV and Challenge Cup. So I think we've got a nice balance here, and everyone seems in good moods and good spirits. So. Hopefully now we can go away and get a good win in the league. Cool. Congratulations again on the international caps and good luck this afternoon. Thank you very much.